E. Jean Carroll and her attorney Roberta Kaplan, thank you both for joining us this morning. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. <laughs> I have. It is, yesterday was probably the happiest day of my life. But it's been quite an ordeal, hasn't it? In four years. Only four years? I'm four. surprised you say it like that. I, I only decided to come forward and tell what happened. Uh, I thought that was enough. And um, then he said terrible things about me, dragged me through the mud, ground my face in the dirt. It was horrible. And so I talked to Robbie Kaplan, and Robbie and I brought lawsuit against Donald Trump. And yesterday, <laughs> despite uh, prosecutors and special counsels and investigators and piling uh, all these legal snarls up to Trump, it was this five foot three wily female attorney and this elderly 79 year old advice columnist who are finally holding Donald Trump liable. You know, was there any point in, during the trial where you were concerned? They were bringing up questions about your credibility, saying you didn't remember exactly when uh, this happened. They talked about those Facebook posts where you said you were a fan of The Apprentice. Did it, did it shake you at any point in the, in the trial? I was always shaken. It was three days, three days of testimony. I was shaken quite a bit, uh, but I uh, uh, felt strong because I knew I was telling the truth, and I just stuck to it. And you also, at one point, said you didn't come to the, go to the police earlier because it felt shameful. Is is there any part of you that blames yourself for having this go on so long? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. I bl blame myself. <laughs> After it happened hourly, I blame myself hourly. I was uh, too ashamed uh, to even think uh, what a stupid thing I did. Uh, but now I feel. How about, how about yesterday in the courtroom? The first the first uh, announcement was made, and it was that he was not found liable for rape. What were we thinking at that moment? Robbie and I were sitting together, and we were holding hands. Her hand was ice cold, <laughs> ice cold. And we all, when that, when the jury said yes, we looked at each other and that was the moment. It was such a wonderful, overwhelming moment. Uh, Robbie, we've heard from President Trump and his attorneys that they're going to appeal. They've been making uh, some, some claims that the judge was biased against them. Do you think they have any grounds for an appeal here? Absolutely zero, George. Judge Kaplan's one of the most respected, fairest judges. He gave them more process than even anyone else ever gets. He gave, Cap he gave Donald Trump multiple chances to come into that courtroom and testify. He refused to do so. He has no appeal. As Aaron pointed out, this is the first time a jury has, has ruled against Donald Trump in a case like this. What does that mean? I think it means that in our country, no one, not even a former president, not even a star from Celebrity Apprentice is above the law. And Donald Trump, like all of us, is not above the law. What's next for you? I'm going to go throw the ball for my dog. I'm going <laughs> to go in the yard, I'm going to throw that ball for my dog. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you both for coming in this Thank morning. You. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.